Okay, so this is the Bookmap Platform Details webinar. Uh, risk disclaimer, trading equities and futures involves substantial risk of loss and is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. Uh, if you are new here to Bookmap, go to bookmap.com and uh, you can uh, uh, download Bookmap uh, for a free trial for 14 days and see if you like it. Uh, you're here in this webinar now. Uh, I can answer your questions here uh, and um, I go through any of the features and components and then we will also take a look at the order flow uh, just a, a bit um, uh, because uh, this, this webinar is much more about uh, understanding what book map is showing you and what some of the features are, how, how to use the, the actual software. Um, the um, uh, next webinar that we have in about a half hour, uh, that uh, is uh, very specifically about the order flow uh, and uh, understanding, um, looking for uh, opportunities uh, in the order flow uh, based on what we very objectively see uh, here in the visualization in Bookmap. Okay, so first steps first, uh, understand what it is you're looking at here in Bookmap, uh, and um, uh, and then uh, get comfortable with the features uh, and the components of the software, and then secondly, start applying it to the order flow. Okay, now to get to that second step, you will be you will need to be in trial or be a, a current customer. Okay, uh, that's to uh, support those uh, who uh, are beyond just uh, the platform details. Okay, all right, guys. Uh, so let's uh, take a look here. Um, this is where you can find Bookmap. Okay, let's go to the home page. Okay, up here, uh, click on the Explore. There's a few intro videos here. They're very short. I uh, might want to start with those to see what you're looking at in Bookmap. Uh, and then let's go down to Connectivity. Okay, you will need uh, a data provider. Bookmap is a true platform, just like any other platform out there, like TradeStation or NinjaTrader. Uh, it's um, uh, you you can directly connect your uh, data provider or broker uh, or account uh, to to Bookmap. Okay, and if you have the advanced uh, Bookmap version, you can actually trade from Bookmap, which is a nice advantage. Uh, so uh, these are the uh, uh, methods for uh, connecting. Let me know if you have any questions here. Uh, we also, you can see we have NinjaTrader here uh, and uh, trading technologies as well as interactive brokers. These all, um, the connections between all of these three are through the API uh, with the uh, platforms. Uh, so uh, there's a little bit of a combination. Sometimes we can go through the platforms, uh, API like NinjaTrader uh, or uh, you can just connect directly uh, to your data feed like IQ feed, CQG, Rhythmic, etc. All right. Okay, let's go down a little bit further. Here's the pricing information. Uh, there are two versions of Bookmap, basic and advanced. Okay. 49 per month and 99 per month are billed quarterly. Uh, the um, uh, difference between the two, uh, I mentioned here already the ability to trade right from the Bookmap chart. And that's a nice advantage. I can get into that um, and, and, and uh, explain why, uh, because we show the heat map. Uh, you, um, you see the liquidity in front of you, so uh, you can hide your orders behind uh, large liquidity for your stops, for example, or if you want to front run some of that large liquidity uh, for entry. Okay, so uh, uh, that's a, a really nice advantage. It's, it's right there in the chart. So uh, uh, take advantage of it if you are in subscribed to that advanced version. Uh, the other uh, aspects here, uh, differences, are the um, uh, add-on indicators. Okay, now these add-on indicators are a little different than your traditional uh, indicators. Okay, these uh, are much more geared about the order flow. Okay, so um, uh, ask any questions here, ha happy to answer. Uh, you can see there's a couple other versions here. Now, it's just the the basic and advanced here, but it's packaged with DX feed. Okay, now DX feed is something um, uh, unique. We've partnered with uh, Dev Experts, and it is for U.S. equities only. It is not for futures. Okay, so um, uh, you will only use that for uh, for U.S. equities. Now we offer multiple connectivity, uh, so you can uh, be connected uh, to DX feed for your U.S. equities. Uh, as well as uh, your data feed 
uh, for uh, you uh, for the futures. Okay. All right, and this is just a package deal between the two. You, if you have the basic or advanced, you can still get DX feed. Uh, it just needs to subscribe to it as an add-on. Okay, uh, then uh, once you do log in, uh, you'll come into the bookmap portal. You can find the link here, uh, and uh, this will allow you to uh, uh, access a lot of the uh, education features uh, and, um, and support here. Uh, if you want to follow us on Twitter, Okay, uh, it's under it's at bookmap underscore pro. All sorts of good stuff. Uh, retweets from other professional traders uh, and uh, just up to date information about bookmap. Then uh, you can also follow us here uh, or subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, let me just go through basically the YouTube channel. Uh, features and components would be your first step. Uh, just get an overview of what bookmap is. Uh, and just go through a few of these, uh, go through as many as you like. Um, but um, uh, this is uh, the beginning here to understand what the features and components are. Uh, and then uh, next step would probably be uh, watch some of these order flow video snippets. These uh, videos here cover the phenomena that Bookmap uh, uncovers uh, in, the, uh, in the order flow. Okay, And it's, this is much more like the content we go over uh, during the uh, the trial period uh, or the current customers, okay, we're looking at the order flow, right? So start with a few of these, maybe uh, get an idea of um, uh, you know what uh, what Bookmap uh, uh, is showing you and how to use it, okay? Uh, and then um, there's some selected webinars here. So if you, you uh, all the webinars are recorded, uh, but um, uh, there's just some selections here if you just want an overview of what uh, uh, the advanced are, for example, you can watch a few of these and get a feel for it. Uh, and then we have Futures Trader 71 down here. He's a professional trader. He's been using a uh, book map for uh, quite a while now. Uh, and uh, you can watch some of these videos to see how he uses it. Okay. Well, let's jump into book map and take a look here. Uh, and uh, like I said, uh, uh, I see some new faces in here, uh, just reaching out, welcome. Uh, I've reached out to a few of you already via email. Um, uh, this is, uh, you know, the time to, uh, to answer uh, any of your questions. Uh, go through uh, anything, basically, uh, regarding uh, the features, functionality, uh, whatever, whatever it is, uh, just let me know. Uh, ha happy to, uh, to help you here. Okay. Um, Let's see. Let's uh, let's start off here, and uh, let, yeah, we'll just look at the ES. Uh, we looked at the ES yesterday, uh, and uh, and had some good insight, um, especially on uh, with the uh, uh, order flow, advanced order flow webinar uh, at 11 Eastern. Uh, we were, remained bullish, and uh, we saw the move to the upside. What's going on today? All right, well, let's uh, let's take a look here, and uh, you can see the, the 9.30 open, nice move to the upside, still bullish, okay? Uh, we've actually come down and tested the low here, uh, but uh, we uh, rejected and came right back into the range so far. Now, it is downtrending in this uh, downtrend here, but this is kind of like a, uh, you know, like a big uh, uh, sideways, uh, well, I don't know. It looks like a bull flag, uh, you know, it, but it's also uh, still downtrending here. So uh, we need to see them step up uh, in the um, uh, limit order book. Uh, we want to see some support here. Anyway, I'm getting a little ahead of myself here. Let's start off. What are we looking at here in Bookmap? Uh, and uh, how can you relate to uh, what it's displaying here? And then we'll get into how to read it. Okay, so I'm going to do that by starting with a very simple candlestick chart. We're going to turn off everything else here, the volume, the indicators, and the heat map. Okay, here's a five-minute candlestick chart. All right, now um, this is, uh, you know, we can see the move to the upside here, and we can see the this, this you know, kind of nibbling away on the downside uh, and just uh, breach the low here or test the low. Uh, and then uh, right back into the middle of the range. Now, uh, you know, the candlestick chart, we've been all reading candlestick charts uh, for quite a while. Uh, and um, we can uh, start to understand the pressure in the market here just by the wicks and the body. But uh, it's really um, giving you only four data points. Open, high, low, and close of a five-minute period. Uh, there is a lot of data that is missing here. And uh, that kind of data is um, 
uh, critical to making excellent financial trading decisions. Okay, so for example, where are the traders? Okay, where's the volume? Uh, where did they commit? Uh, we have no idea here. Okay, we have a volume subchart. We know that we know that there's volume on this candle here, uh, and we can see a little bit of volume over in this area here. But that's about it. Uh, there's really not much uh, else to uh, gather uh, from looking at this. So let's say you uh, you you go long here. Well, it's kind of a pot shot. Uh, you you don't know, uh, and you're making tra financial trading decisions on limited data, and that's the problem here. Okay, so uh, we're just going to switch on the best bid and offer, and we're already going to see a, an advantage here. Uh, and um, uh, we can start to understand some of the microstructures uh, just by looking at historical best bid and offer. Okay, the uh, green line is the historical best bid, and the red is the best offer. Okay, this is the current market here, as you can see, with the dashed lines, and this, this is the last traded volume here. Okay, I'll get into that in just a minute. Um, the um, uh, why is this an advantage? Uh, well, now we can start to understand a little bit of the microstructure, okay, of what occurred here. So, for example, uh, look at the uh, microstructure up here. Okay, we we saw the initial move to the upside, a little bit of sideways action, break down, come right back up and test that microstructure, and that's where we didn't uh, uh, accept. That's where we sold off. Okay, we're going to see this in the order flow and book map, and you're going to see an advantage here. All right, so uh, we'll, we'll cover it uh, as I continue to add more information on. All right, so let's let's uh, take a look at the volume. I'm going to turn on the volume dots. Okay, and here we go, and I can already see uh, the uh, the selling down here. Okay, and here. All right, so uh, the, we're we're going to go over the order flow here, uh, the tape, reading the tape here, uh, and. Um, uh, so, what are these dots showing me? Okay, you can see the pie display of the dot with green and red. Uh, it gives you the overall shape of the delta of the volume. So that one dot here, for example, this one, shows this shows that there's more selling than buying here. Okay. Now let me click on the hand tool, hover over this dot, and uh, we're going to zoom in very quickly without using the uh, zoom in and zoom out tools here. We're just going to use our center mouse wheel. And zoom right in. Okay. Note how that dot now uh, that was pretty pretty uh, big uh, in in size, uh, which represented uh, lots of trades, uh, is now being broken up into several dots. Okay. So uh, and I continue to zoom in here, and here's what really occurred uh, at uh, down at millisecond level. Okay. Look at the trading activity here. Okay. So uh, quite quite a bit. Quite a quite a lot of action. Uh, I can see in my column, my my uh, data columns over here, it's 291 contracts that traded here uh, within less than a second. All right. So uh, I'm sorry. Let's see here. Uh, 4307. Yeah, 4307. So you can see how quickly and uh, 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 the size it's going through here. Uh, in uh, in the S and P, it's pretty pretty amazing uh, instrument. Uh, but uh, uh, we can continue to zoom in here as well, right? And uh, we can actually we have unlimited zoom and book map. You can continue to zoom in and uh, look at the timeline. Now we're down, looking at billions of seconds. Okay, we're down at nanosecond level. Okay, now and this is one event here that took place, as you can see within this chart range, for a volume of three. Okay, I've got that I know that precise data okay and that's what bookmap is showing you uh, is uh, very objectively showing you the data uh, and um, uh, then how to read that data is uh, is really up to you uh, but that's what we cover uh, in the uh, in the learning process of the order flow uh, in the next webinar all right so uh, anyway let's zoom out now and you can see uh, the um, uh, these are aggressive sells here. Okay, someone uh, hit the market sell button. They took liquidity off of the best bid, uh, and the transaction took place. Okay, and it's marked here with the dot. Okay, an aggressive buy would be uh, a green dot here on the uh, on the best offer, and we'll see some of those here. All right. Okay, as I zoom out, 
Uh, note now we're uh, we're still down at millisecond level, um, and you can see just uh, you know these are hundreds of trades. Uh, let's zoom out a little bit more and a bit more, and now I have the overall shape of what occurred here uh, within the five second period uh, between these two vertical dotted lines. Okay, so we have every single event that took place. If you want to see that detail, uh, as I zoom out, we still capture uh, that detail, but display it in an overall uh, uh, kind of ag aggregated view. Uh, but um, uh, the detail is still there, so you can still take a look. Uh, and um, uh, let's uh, continue to zoom out, and then this is what really occurred. Okay. Now we have a, a much better understanding of what uh, uh, took place here. Okay, so this is just the traded volume, right? And um, uh, the uh, uh, ni nice cluster of volume up here hovered for a while, looking for maybe uh, you know continuation to the upside. But uh, look how the, these guys, these buyers uh, up in these areas here, are now trapped because look at the selling that took place. And this is what's lacking in that candlestick chart. Uh, we see this nice little microstructural range here. Uh, you don't see it in the in the candlestick, and then you can see right here is where we had the flip. Okay, uh, right here is where the sellers took control, uh, and uh, they broke down below the swing here. Uh, we see a retest. Where do we retest to? Uh, right to basically kind of a POC or point of control, uh, high volume node uh, of this area here. Okay, and uh, it failed, and it continued to the downside. Okay, all of that is lacking here in that candlestick chart. Okay, and that's the kind of insight that you're getting here just by looking at the traded volume in Bookmap. Now, for those of you guys who are trading from uh, footprint charts, uh, looking at volume profiles uh, as well, um, you, you know you're gonna um, you're gonna miss a lot of this action here. Uh, for example, these two little retests in this area here, uh, you're probably going to see it aggregated uh, on your footprint chart. Okay. With Bookmap, though, you're getting the you're getting the retest, and you're getting uh, two retests of that area here. Okay. So you're getting much more insight because we we have that unlimited zoom. You can continue to zoom in here uh, and see all the detail. All right. So that's the advantage uh, that you get over a, a footprint chart uh, by looking at Bookmap. Okay, uh, now that's just the, the traded data. Um, let's uh, let's take a look here at uh, the current market. Okay, and uh, now when we go to the current market, uh, we uh, we start to access the dome. Uh, we want to understand where the liquidity is in the market. Okay, and this is your dome here in Bookmap. Okay, it's the COB column, the current order book. All right, and um, you can see the um, uh, the uh, liquidity at these price levels. Okay, so uh, here's your best bid and offer here. Okay, here's your depth on the offer and your depth on the bid. And um, uh, this is the lit book. Okay, this is the current book uh, right now uh, in the S&P. Okay, this window here uh, is the same uh, uh, current book. It's just displayed graphically. Okay, uh, and this is the last traded volume. Uh, now, what's uh, great about the the dome uh, is you you can see the liquidity, okay? you see the depth of market, okay? and this is insightful because you want to know where larger traders are lined up and um, uh, if they uh, mean business, they want to trade here. Uh, well, then uh, we're going to be heading up to 2490 to test that area because there's almost 1,700 contracts up here. All right, uh, and um, uh, and that's good. Uh, however, uh, the problem here with this dome uh, is it's fleeting. Uh, as soon as these numbers change, and they're changing, you can see them changing now. They're changing all the time. So what was the liqu liquidity previously? Uh, you'd have to remember it. Uh, you, you don't know. That, that has now been updated, and you have no record of what previously occurred. Okay, And that's a problem. Uh, because uh, uh, you don't have that advantage of understanding what really unfolded in the uh, in the auction, right? It's the action that took place outside of the traded volume here, and that's what we're going to access here. Okay, so I'm going to turn on the heat map. Okay, this is how we uh, uh, display that uh, historical depth of market. 
Okay, so this is your dome uh, that's um, a historical. Uh, and um, uh, let me let me explain here. All right, so uh, for example, this 2490, uh, 1572 contracts here. Okay, this is the brightest area right now in the book. Okay, this the heat map is a graphical representation of the liquidity in the book. So uh, brighter areas uh, are more liquidity. Okay, here they are on the bid at 87 and a quarter. And these are the two highest areas in the book at the moment. Now you will uh, you can adjust for that with the heat map uh, contrast configurations here. Uh, we can bring up the brightness. We can bring up bring down the large size. I mean you can see that we can we can really look at a lot of detail. Uh, it's up to you. Uh, what view helps you the most, uh, and uh, in your trading uh, uh, methods? Okay, for me, um, I just like to kind of see an overview. I like to see some of the uh, uh, liquidity here uh, that is uh, a little bit uh, lower, uh, but I want to see where the majority of the uh, larger players are. Okay, where they're providing liquidity, and you can see we're channeling between those two areas right now. Okay, so. In the uh, in the in the live book, when these numbers change here, you'll see the heat map change. Okay. Uh, now, where it gets interesting is to the left of this vertical uh, white line here. All of this data is captured and then projected onto the chart. Okay. Historically, so now we can read how this auction unfolded. Look how these these guys up here they pulled their liquidity last moment. Uh, here on the offer, okay. Uh, these striations in in the uh, let me zoom in just a little bit. Uh, these striations in the map, for example, let's just look at this one here. Okay, this is the adding and pulling of liquidity. Okay, so um, in fact, we can use the data tip tool. We can hover over these areas, and I can show you exactly what was here uh, on the ask. We get the date, the time, and then what was on the ask at this price level. Okay, so this shade of gray represented at this time uh, 1,269 contracts. Okay, and then it got darker. So they actually pulled 20. Okay, and that's what that represents here. Okay, and it went down to 1,249. Okay, 1,250. Okay, so uh, where this gets interesting is, is starting to uh, ascertain uh, the intent of these traders in the auction. So these guys up here, they didn't really want to trade because uh, they pulled their liquidity as price came up toward them. All right. And then, uh, we, and you can see that uh, we came up into this area and then fell back down and then they jumped back in. All right. So they, they really didn't uh, want to trade. And now they're just, they're just holding their place in line here uh, at, uh, at this price level uh, because um, uh, they, they may make their decision to trade later. Uh, but they want to be the first in line. It's a it's a FIFO market. First in, first out. Okay. Now let's read the behavior here, uh, and um, uh, you you can see that uh, actually they got pretty aggressive here. Uh, as price started to move away, they actually lowered their offer uh, down to this uh, 2490 level, a couple of ticks, and then they're even a, one tick lower than that right now. Okay. So um, uh, still we need to when price comes up toward them is what we really want to measure. But we can see that they're getting a little more aggressive, right? And this is bearish, okay? So the intent in the auction is showing bearish activity. That's some nice insight here, okay? That would be rather challenging to get from the dome, right? So um, uh, that's how Bookmap can help you uh, understand uh, what's going on here in the auction. And um, uh, look at these guys down here at 87 and a quarter. They're staying in the book. It's, it's the same number, basically. We we're looking at 1,300 contracts and something. Now we're up at 14. So actually adding in a little bit here. So uh, they're starting to get interested. Okay? Now we need to see what, what occurs when we come down into this area. Okay? Uh, and uh, to me, it actually looks like... Um, uh, well, just uh, reading a little bit of the order flow, uh, let me take the candlesticks off for a moment here, and we'll, let's just jump in and uh, start to read some of the order flow like we do uh, in the uh, uh, advanced uh, analysis webinar. 
All right. So we're channeling between these two high areas of liquidity. They are getting more aggressive. We've read that in the intent. Uh, and the uh, 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 these guys down here, they're staying right in the book. Okay. And actually they're adding into it. Okay. But what about the other areas around it? Okay. Uh, they're not, you know, they're not um, uh, raising the bid. They're not getting more aggressive. They're just staying here. Okay. So when we see activity like that, uh, this is like a target. Okay, the, the, the market's attracted to this area. Uh, it, it's understood, it's digested this information. It knows that there are buyers here in the auction. Uh, now, if uh, we see some uh, uh, more aggressive traders jump in here and start to front run this 87 and a quarter or 87 and a half or 88, uh, that's gonna skew the auction, okay? Let's not get technical about this. Just think of it like a farmer's market or any, or like a, an auction for an automobile. Uh, and think of buyers and sellers. Uh, this is where the market is being made, okay? Uh, the majority of it uh, is uh, down here at 87 and a quarter, all right? Market knows it can trade there. It's already it's already uh, digested that, okay? No, it can, it, it can find sellers up here at 2490. Uh, and... Um, uh, but with that analogy, think of uh, what if there were other, um, you know, buyers that uh, got a little um, uh, impatient uh, down here and they started to bid up, okay, and uh, with large size. Well, what would that mean in an auction? It would mean there's interest. Uh, and they might start to bid up the price and price might start to react uh, and move away from it. It will be uh, repelled by uh, that uh, that auction, okay, and uh, that would be new information, uh, and we'll we'll see a skew here uh, unfold, uh, and uh, and we can read it, right? But um, uh, and then we might get a, a flip or a change in the order flow, uh, and um, and then we have maybe we break to a new level, uh, and uh, we have volume and acceptance in that new level, right? So. The important thing here uh, is that um, uh, we can read the intent of the traders, okay? And we also see the commitment of those traders with the traded volume, okay? So, um, uh, in fact, uh, uh, we were, um, uh, well, we read the order flow over here uh, and we can see the, uh, uh, you know, more trading taking place here, uh, kind of at a lower low. Be honest, it is rather difficult to read in this area here because it is kind of sideways, uh, and uh, and it actually just kind of went sideways. But I also see a nice cluster here. Okay, uh, yeah, this is not the easiest to read. This is this is a little bit clearer here uh, at this point. Nice volume down here. What kind of volume? Selling volume. Okay, look at the retest up here. What kind of volume up here? Well, it's very little. Uh, and uh, the aggressive buying here is it's tiny compared to what occurred down here. So the market can come down here again uh, and it knows it can trade here and it has price discovery to the downside. And that's what's unfolded here. Okay. Uh, and um, uh, now we, we might get a, a flip uh, of that uh, right, right now, in fact, because uh, look, look what's occurring here. Okay. I see more aggressive buying starting to take place up outside of this little micro range, okay, up into um, above this uh, uh, 2489, all right? And what kind of volume is it? There's a little bit more aggressive buying here, okay? That bodes well for price discovery to up into this 2490 well uh, area here, okay? So we'll see if we get a retest of that here. Uh, and then uh, where, would, where would we be going? Well, areas of liquidity. Uh, first 2490, and these guys might step back in here at this uh, 90 and a uh, and a half. All right. So anyway, that's uh, some of the process that we go through. Uh, and um, uh, once uh, you guys have um, uh, gotten familiar with the um, uh, with the software, uh, what it offers, uh, understanding right clicking in some of these columns to be able to change the uh, different types of data that you're looking at. Uh, and uh, you can look at volume, trade counter, quotes counter, 
Uh, you can format each column into many different ways. You, basically, a very, very um, um, configurable, uh, any way that you want, really, uh, for the uh, for the dome and the volume and uh, other data types. Okay, there's uh, many features as well uh, here under Studies Configuration. Play around with these, ask questions, uh, watch some of the features and components videos. Uh, and then uh, I would uh, recommend giving it a shot, giving it a trial. It's 14 days uh, and uh, see if this is something that works for you. All right. All right, guys. Uh, well, thanks for coming. And uh, we'll see you in the uh, in the next webinar if you're uh, in trial. OK, bye bye.